Hey, what's up you wonderful people? Welcome back to some more of the failure that is, well, me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and let me not bore you any further. So let's just get into the video. Are you taking boyfriend applications? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Please submit. I submit to no one, but that was a nice touch, I'm not gonna lie. On the other hand, I'm not as healed and I haven't gone to therapy like the guy asking that question. It would most likely take a special type of guy, one of those that went to therapy and got all healed, that will ask an adult actress to be her boyfriend. Now, obviously, there could be some advantages. For example, if you're a bum, the money is gonna be good. Not to mention when you introduce her to your friends as your girlfriend, they all know her pretty intimately, and that will give you something to talk about with your friends for probably days. It just couldn't be me though. I'm a cake that so many have tried. I've been in these streets, I'll give you that. I'm a cake so many have tried, but all these people have tried this cake and I chose him to be the one to have this bakery. I think that's pretty flattering for him, I'm not gonna lie. And I thought way of girls taking over TikTok was bad, but this is taking TikTok over to the highest level. Now, even an adult actress deserves to be happy, get married and all that, even though I don't see it as being that much flattering for her husband, but still, it's their own business. The part where she lost me is she claims she's a cake, but then she's a bakery, so I don't know. Now, if she really is the bakery, all I have to say is make sure you wipe your feet before you go in and make sure you never take your shoes off because you might get your sucks dirty most people don't like themselves so why should i care if they don't like me people don't like themselves i like myself very much now that there's not room for improvement but i ignore all that because i like myself very much and why does it matter if people who don't like you don't even like themselves the result is the same either they like themselves or not they still don't like you people don't like me because i'm an a-hole i know that and maybe that's the part i should work on but what's your excuse maybe that's something you bring up in next week's therapy session Ladies, listen up. We as women actually collectively have to start a movement to not accept less. There are so many women out there accepting way less than the bare minimum from men. How do I know this? Well, I've been there and I've seen it with my own eyes many times. The only reason that this phenomena can keep perpetuating is because we as women believe that we won't get better from men. So we accept less than we know we deserve. And this creates a whole pool of men who get away with giving women less than they deserve. And I'm not even talking about like men paying for everything or doing anything outrageous. I'm talking like simple bare minimum stuff, like basic communication, basic fulfilling of needs, being a gentleman, paying for dates, planning dates in advance, basic human respect, being romantic, doing small gestures, holding a door open, pulling a seat out for your lady. That's why I say if he's not giving you what you deserve, just leave. And by us doing this, we show them that it's gonna take more than minimal effort to get a woman. And they can't get away with that anymore because we only need them in our lives if they're adding value. Yeah, absolutely. That makes perfect sense. But then again, the second I enter your life, I am already bringing value. But other than that, everything else you said makes perfect sense. In a world where I choose to stay away from you and I'm already giving you nothing, you should start a movement asking for more. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? I love when men attack women for asking for the basics, the bare minimum. Like I just posted a video about the basic concept. If you ask someone on a date, that means you have to plan the date. And guys just started attacking me in the comments. If you ask someone on a date, you have to plan the date. And me wanting you to make a basic plan of taking me for dinner and me then not wanting to go out with you because you couldn't plan a simple dinner date. That's a you problem, not me.
Oh, is it really a me problem and not a you problem? You're the one dating, not me, so that makes it a you problem. And funny enough, you did say dinner date. What if I had planned the coffee date? That was beneath you, right? That actually is a me problem because I asked you on a date. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. But worry not, I have a solution for your problem. I did learn to lie so easily since I started doing this. But no, really, I have a solution for your problem. Uh, apparently, there's a movement that's about to start where you keep asking for more when I'm already giving you nothing. So you should join that movement. I mean, it makes no difference. It's obviously you already hit the wall. My elderly boyfriend sent me not one, but two emails with links to Google searches. Like he Googled the thing he wanted to show me and then copy-pasted the link to the Google search in the email. Oh man, that's an annoying voice filter, isn't it? I did hope it would go away, but no such luck, I guess. Okay, so he doesn't know how to really use a computer. I don't really see a problem in that. You have plenty of time to teach him, right? I'm 29. He's 63. I mean, how long did we really think it was gonna last? Oh no, wait, never mind. Not only that the two of you broke up, but as they say, less likely to teach an old dog new tricks. Ah, but what happened? Why the two of you broke up? Did he by any chance forgot where you live? Or maybe who you are? Or did they maybe cancel his senior citizen discount because he was using it on unhealthy things? <laughs> Let's go with that. Now that this relationship was not a beautiful thing, but as a percentage, who do you think is more likely to go for a senior citizen? Young women or young men? I've never yet in my life seen a man going, Hey there, grandma, you're looking hot today. Maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen one. If the algorithm brought this video to you, I have a crazy message for you. Yeah, no, I'm not in the mood for crazy today. I would rather watch an adult actress getting married than to take a message from you. What's going to happen in the next 24 hours? If you're seeing this video, your spirit guides are trying to contact you. Oh, that's right, and they forgot where I live, or what? Are they the same age as grandpa from earlier? Yeah, I think my spirit guide is broken. But hey, lucky for me, they found you and you're gonna send me a message. Lucky for me, I don't in fact have to listen to that message. You know, I've been like, it's fine that I'm getting all these gross comments from men because I'm on the creator fund, so I'm making money. I could make more by going to a bar and asking people for shots, and they're usually nicer. Oh, alright, so that's what being strong and independent really means, doesn't it? Going to a bar asking people for drinks. Well, fair enough. Wait until she finds out about the foodie call. That will be the point when she's really gonna hate men. Oh, wait, she did say something about men in the beginning of her video, and you can't really live off $10 a month, so maybe she did find out about foodie calls. I don't need no men, well, obviously, except when your dad is still paying your bills. Okay, you guys, um, an update. My loan was declined, um, but it's okay. It was also for, like, really odd, weird reasons. Like, something that you're like, what? How could that even be? Anyway, um... And I was like, you know what? It's okay. Obviously, this is not the avenue that the universe wanted me to take to get here. There is a, a better path, another way, and it's going to be even sweeter. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm still wholly accepting donations because... Yeah, okay, let me stop you right here. Spoiler alert, she wants you to send her money as donations because she promised that at some point she's gonna give money to charity when she's gonna be rich. And then, of course, she's doing this. And let me read this for you guys. Not me also using OF to help and reach others' lives and open them to expanding their consciousness. So you see, she's not doing it for money. She's doing it for you guys. Obviously because the universe told her so. So she's not charging $12 a month because she wants to get rich. She's doing it because she wants you to expand your consciousness. Come on, seriously. Have you ever been two hours late for a date? I have. And you know what? Men can wait.
Yes, we can. You know what else? You forgot to mention he was gone when you got there. So now you're gonna have to spend some of those $10 to get yourself some food. No man is gonna wait two hours for a date, especially when he's waiting for you. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.